Yeah, but Superman doesn't need prep time. No, because he's crazy strong and has heat vision and frost. Oh my god, everybody! He's Superman, fly and... Superman's gone crazy. He's attacking the world. We all got to get ready. Wonder Woman, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Like, Flash, you ready to go? Yeah, man, I'm ready to go. What about you, Cyborg? Yeah, man, I'm going to guard the Watchtower. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> what about you, Batman? Wait, 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 everyone. Batman would not say anything because he would go, here's the box no, where I've already Batman, prepped. <laughs> Batman would say, wait, everybody, wait now, wait now. Y'all need to give me like 10 minutes. No, no, he would go like this. I need prep time. That's Guys, Batman don't worry. Difference. Here's my anti-Superman bag. That'd be Batman's answer. I need, <laughs> Kryptonite I need ring. Prep time. <laughs> Nude photos of his wife that I can blackmail him with. Wow. His Twitter password. <laughs> Nude photos of his wife. And Bat Superman would be like, no! Oh, Batman would be like, prep. What's going on, guys? This is Rob. And as many of you may or may not know, today is Batman Day. Why is it Batman Day, you ask? Well, four years ago, DC decided to celebrate the 75th anniversary of Batman's debut in Detective Comics number 27 in 1939. The thing is though, that book actually didn't come out until May of 1939. But for some reason, the first Batman Day was on July 23rd, 2014, so not on the actual anniversary of his debut. Then in 2015, Batman Day was moved to September and it stayed there ever since for reasons that I simply just cannot find an explanation to. But regardless of its dubious scheduling, we are celebrating Batman Day today and featuring Batman in our series on Omega Level and beyond Omega Level characters. Now right away, let's discuss the elephant in the room. I know there were lots of you guys out there who saw the title of this video and were probably confused. I mean, Batman does not have any powers. So how could he possibly be an Omega level or beyond Omega level character? After all, this series focuses on the most powerful beings in comic books. Well, if that's what you were saying when you saw this video pop up in your feed, then you would technically be correct. Batman does not have any actual powers. He's just a normal guy, at least until Dark Knight's metal concludes, which will probably tell us that Batman's been super powered this whole time, but I digress. Now, since we don't actually have any powers to cover in this video, we're gonna be going into a discussion on why it is that prep time gives Batman such an advantage over his opponents. So the reason Batman is able to maximize prep time is because he has two huge advantages, a superior intellect and a seemingly inexhaustible wealth. Because of these two factors, Batman can look at whatever threat comes his way, even if it's an opponent that he can never defeat on his own, and use his intelligence to figure out a way to defeat them, and then use the vast resources at his disposal to make that solution a reality. And we've seen him do this on several occasions throughout his history. For instance, we know that Batman created Brother Eye, which is a global surveillance artificial intelligence network that allows him to gather tons of data about all the superhumans on Earth. Now, while Batman does not have omniscience, we know that he is capable of somewhat replicating this concept through his ability to create such an extensive surveillance network that allows him to basically see anything he wants at any particular point in time. Now, another thing that we've mentioned before on this channel is that Batman has actually been able to take down the Justice League after using his resources to construct an armor that would allow him to exploit their various weaknesses. This happened around the beginning of the endgame storyline of Scott Snyder's run on Batman, and as part of that story, we saw Batman using the armor that he had created to take down the members of the Justice League who had all been influenced by the Joker toxin. Now, this armor cost Batman an amount greater than 60% of the money that the world nation spent on their entire militaries and used a variety of tools to take down the Justice League. For example, it used an object known as the Bind of Veils, a mythical object created by Hephaestus to counteract Wonder Woman's lasso of truth in order to basically defeat her. To neutralize the Flash, he used a super fast computer to track the Flash's movements and sprayed a frictionless coating in his path. He coated Aquaman with a substance that absorbed all the moisture from his body and built miniaturized red suns into the armor's knuckles and used a gum filled with crypto particles to take down Superman. So what we actually see from this is that Batman is smart enough to prepare for almost every possibility and eventually given enough time that he'll also be able to acquire or buy anything he needs to be victorious. Now in addition to this, we've seen Batman battle some of the most powerful characters of the DC Universe and survive because he's so greatly increased his durability through the body armor that he has at his disposal. In Superman Batman number 28 for example, Batman is beaten badly by what he believes to be the Martian Manhunter, but it's actually an alien known as Zook that is mimicking the Martian Manhunter's powers. Even so, taking a beating from someone as powerful as Martian Manhunter is pretty much the same as 
just taking a beating from Superman and surviving without any ill effects. And in Infinite Crisis number one, Batman is struck by the supervillain Mongol, who's been shown at times to have strength greater than that of Superman, and Batman simply gets back up and keeps on fighting. So what does all this prove? Well, the body armor that Batman wears is clearly a product of his prep time. He has designed the armor and had it made for him, and while wearing it, he's able to take damage from some of the heaviest hitters in the DC universe, meaning that he can pretty much make himself indestructible. So while I think that we can all agree that in a very literal sense, Batman is obviously not Omega level, not even close, even when you take into account all his special skills, his expertise in hand-to-hand -hand combat, his detective skills, and even the infinite tech and gadgetry he's employed over the years, while those things do make him an extremely formidable fighter, he still doesn't even register anywhere close to Omega level. But as the most hardcore Batman fans will attest, when you add in the secret ingredient of prep time, that's when everything changes. Prep time takes Batman from a guy to a guy who can seemingly dismantle the entire Justice League. A guy who can stand up to the biggest, most powerful villains in the DC Universe and live to tell about it. A guy who can basically do anything he wants because he's Batman. And when you have that kind of plot armor, nothing can take you down. Not even Darkseid's Omega Beams, which have literally killed every ordinary human being that they've ever come down on. But when you're Batman, it just kind of sends you back in time and it messes with your memory a little bit because you're Batman and DC cannot afford to kill you off. With that being said, guys, we're going to bring this video to an end. If you are new here to Comics Explain, make sure you guys hit the sub button to become part of the Rob Corps. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like and yeah, <laughs> I will catch you all later. Peace.